I bring you greetings in the name of the God that created the heavens and the earth. I bring you greetings in the name of the ruler of the heavens and the ruler of the earth. I bring you greetings in the name of the maker of the heavens and the maker of the earth. I bring you greetings in the name of the God of all flesh, the God that can do all things, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. I bring you greetings in the name of the Lord who can deliver all men from all forms of captivity. Is that same God that promoted Joseph from being a prisoner to become a prime minister in a strange land? I bring you greetings in the name of the God that delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the burning furnace. I bring you greetings in the name of the God that delivered Joseph from the prison and he brought him into the palace. I bring you greetings in the name of the Lord that he never Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the burning furnace. Is that same God that he never Daniel from the Nile's den? I bring you greetings in the name of the omnipotent God, the omniscient God, the omnipresent God, the God that can do all things. He is known as the great provider. He is known as the great inner. He is known as the great savior. He is known as the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And today, I want us to see God in our situation, in our families, in our ministries, in our marriages, as the one that can deliver. There is somebody that is crying, there is somebody that is praying, there is somebody that is desiring, there is somebody that is wishing for a great deliverance. There is somebody that is listening to this message who signs prayer, who persistent hacking, who signs prayer unto God is that, Oh God, my maker, I need a deliverance. There is somebody that is listening to this message who has been praying for years, for months, for weeks, for days. Who has been wishing, who has been desiring one form of deliverance or the other? The good news I have for you today is that there's only one man that can deliver, there's only one man that can save, there's only one man that can break the bars of joke over your life, there's only one man, there's only one power that can deliver you from any form of captivity, and the man is Jesus Christ. Today I present to you Jesus Christ, the great deliverer. Today I present to you Jesus Christ, the great Savior. As many powers of darkness that have been holding you captive, at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, I command those powers to be arrested in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As chapter 10 verse 38 says, Our God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. The same anointing that God gave Jesus Christ, I renew that same power on you today. Anointing for freedom, to receive freedom. Anointing to receive deliverance from every form of captivity. Receive the power. Receive the anointing. The Bible says clearly that in that day the body shall be lifted up from your shoulders. The yoke shall be broken from your neck. The body shall be lifted up because of an anointing. Anointing to set you free from every form of captivity. Anointing to break every yoke over your life. Receive that anointing as you are listening to this message. You receive the power, receive the anointing. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost and receive the anointing of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the form of afflictions you have been facing. One thing I know is that there is a name that is above every other name. And at the mention of his name, all things shall bow down heaven. All things shall bow on earth and all things shall bow under the heart. Today I prophesy unto your situations as many contrary things, as many strange powers, as many evil spirits, as many demon spirits that are programming evil into your life. I dimension because I'm speaking, because I'm standing, because I'm talking with the name of Jesus Christ. I command every contrary situations in your life to bow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let sickness bow, let poverty bow, let marital delay bow, let marital failures bow. Let stagnancy bow. Let sicknesses bow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The silent prayer of somebody that is listening to this message, somebody that is hearing to this message is that, Oh God, I need a deliverance. And the good news I have for you today is that the God that has all authority in heaven's and heart is ready now to deliver you from every contrary situation, from every problem of life, from every difficulty of life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. God has already anointed somebody to deliver you from that situation. Therefore, as you come to that person today, as you receive the spirit of righteousness, as you rededicate your life to that person today, as you surrender your strength to that person today, as you confess your sins in repentance to that person today, as you confess that by your strength you cannot prevail, as you come to that person with a humble heart today, I assure you that your healing is assured in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I assure you that the powers that have held you, O sage, the powers that have held you in different forms of bondage shall release you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because at the mention of the name of that person, because at the hearing of the name of that person, every other power must bow, because that person has all powers in heavens and heart. Today as you come to that person, every yoke over your life, every bondage over your situation shall be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, oh God, I need a deliverance that is the silent cry of somebody. What is the nuance? The nuance is achieving the impossible. We are examining the topic of the nuance, but it is very essential for us to have a very good understanding, to have a biblical understanding of what the nuance is. What is the nuance? The nuance is achieving the impossible. We serve a God that can make impossibility possible. We serve a God who boasted that I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything that is too hard for me? No matter the situation you are in, no matter what you have been trying to achieve that has seemed impossible, no matter the years you have spent in that situation that you want to come out, there is only one God that can do the impossible. There is only one God that can do everything that seems so hard. And the prayer today I have for you is that God shall do something hard for you. No matter that thing, no matter that desire that seems hard before you, is it the job you are looking for? Is it marital peace that you are desiring? No matter that thing that seems hard for you, the God that delivered Joseph from the prison and brought him to the palace, the God that did a lot of miracles in the lives of the saints, that is still doing the same miracle because the same God is a living God, is an active God, is a God that changes not, that same God shall intervene in your situation and do something hard for you in your ministry, he shall do something hard for you in your marriage, that same God shall do something hard for you in your house, that same God shall do something hard for you in your situations, in your offices, in your ministries, in your career, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is deliverance? Deliverance is achieving in one day what you have been struggling to achieve for 25 years. Sarah was the wife of Abraham. For 25 years, she was struggling to become a mother of child. But on one single day, God delivered her from childlessness. Rachel was another person in the Bible. For years, she was struggling to become a mother of children. But one day, the Bible says that God remember Rachel. That same God that remember Rachel in the Bible shall remember you. He shall remember your marriage. He shall remember your situation. He shall remember your plans to live a, a happy marital life. He shall remember your plans to live a comfortable life. He shall remember your plans to serve God in holiness, in righteousness, and in truth. That same God that intervened in the life of Rachel shall intervene in your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That God that intervened in the life of Sarah. That same God that intervened in the life of Hannah at Shino shall visit your situation today. What is the nuance? The nuance is receiving divine assistance and genuine visitation from God. In the Bible, God sent angels to deliver people from various forms of captivity. That same God I'm provoking today, I pray for you, and I provoke the power of God. The power of God that sets free, the power of God that blesses, the power of God that promotes, the power of God that gives grace. I release that same power of God to you in the mighty name of God. As the Bible clearly says, that angels of God are ministering spirits unto the haste of salvation. I command your angels of breakthrough. I command your angels of deliverance. I command your angels of protection. I command your angels of joy to visit your situation today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right there where you have received and genuine visitation. I push you into the Jordan of breakthrough. That's a Jordan of breakthrough where an angel stares. I push you into that Jordan of breakthrough today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is deliverance? Deliverance is freedom from every form of satanic captivity. And there's only one God, there's only one person, there's only one power that can save you from every form of satanic captivity. And that power belongs to Jesus Christ. As you come unto Jesus Christ today, as you surrender your life to Him today, as you decide to live in absolute holiness and absolute righteousness, that same power 
that did miracles in the life of people that same power that did miracles in the life of the saints shall deliver you from every form of satanic captivity i don't want to start analyzing the form of satanic captivity you are i don't want you to start analyzing it i don't want you to start describing it i want you to look at a god but that is powerful than all the other gods the gods of gods the lords of lords the kings of kings the god that has all powers he created all things and is capable of delivering you from all situations. In the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 says that in the beginning God created the heavens and the heart. Before that time, the heart was void. The heart was in absolute darkness, but the Spirit of God moved on the surface of the heart. That same God that delivered the heart from all forms of chaos, all forms of darkness, I shall visit your situation today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God that was described in Genesis chapter 1 that move on the service of heart shall move on, on your situation, it shall move on your marriage, it shall move in your ministry, it shall move in your houses, in your homes today, it shall move in your offices today and set you free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what is deliverance? Deliverance is disgusting, boosting powers. You read the story of the Israelites in the Bible. For 40 days, there was a Goliath that was boasting against the Israelites. There was a Goliath that was boasting, that was challenging the God of the Israelites. But we also have the story in the Bible that God raised up David to disgrace the Goliath that was boasting against the Israelites. God shall raise up and help her for you today. God shall raise up for support for you today. God shall raise up assistance for you today. God shall raise up angelic assistance for you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many Goliaths, as many heroes, as many pharaohs that are boasting against your life, that are boasting against your promotion, that are boasting against your breakthrough, that are boasting against your manifestation, that are boasting against the manifestation of the God in your life, I command the heroes, I command the Goliaths, I command the Hamas to be silenced by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power that degrees Goliath shall degrees your Goliath. The power that degrees errors shall degrees your errors. The power that degrees pharaohs shall degrees your pharaohs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God shall raise up and David for you. The fate that the fair Goliath shall befall. As many strange powers that are boosting against your God, that are challenging your God, that are defying your prayers. The power that degrees Haman in the Bible shall disgrace your Hamans. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what is deliverance? Deliverance is freedom from a long-term habit. Maybe you have been held bondage by an evil, by a contrary habit, such as drunkenness, such as sexual perversion, such as pornography. Deliverance is freedom from that habit. And there's only one power that can set you free, because those habits have held you in bondage, because the powers that have held you in those abyss are stronger than you, you have to look onto a higher power. You have to look onto a ultimate power. You have to look onto the ultimate power to set you from those evil habits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe you have been smoking cigarette for years and you wanted to drop the habit, you have not been able to drop it. Maybe you have been involved in drunkenness for years, you wanted to drop it and you, you find it difficult to drop it. Maybe you have been involved in pornography for years and you want to stop your habit, but you also find it difficult. Every time you want to stop, you always find yourself going back into that habit. No matter the kind of contrary habit you have been involved in, maybe it's pornography, maybe it's sexual perversion, maybe it's cigarette smoking, maybe it's drunkenness. No matter the form of habit you have been today, receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ manifested to destroy the works of darkness, heavy works of darkness that have held you in bondage. I command them to be destroyed. I release the power of God over your life and the power to overcome every works of darkness. Receive that power right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is deliverance? Deliverance is the grace of salvation. Deliverance is knowing that Jesus Christ is Lord. Deliverance is accepting Him as your personal Lord and Savior. There's only one God that can save. There's only one God that can deliver. There's only one God that can heal. And that God is Jehovah and he can only save, he can only heal, he can only deliver through his son Jesus Christ. I present to you Jesus Christ today. A few years ago as I traveled to Kenya as I was in my hotel room in Bombasa, 
the Spirit of God appeared to me and Jesus Christ told me that I am Jesus Christ, I came to heal, I came to save and I came to deliver. I present to you that power today, I present to you that person today. As you are listening to this message, you receive the power to grow and sin no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace of salvation, receive the power to say no to sin in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ told me that he is the healer. Receive your deliverance from every form of sicknesses today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He told me that He is the Savior. I release the grace of salvation over you, salvation from sin, salvation from unbelief, salvation from false religion, salvation from strange churches. Receive that salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ also said He came to deliver. No matter the power that is heading you captive, there is a Jesus Christ, there is a power. His name is the Messiah. He came to set the captives free. I release that power unto you today. I release that grace unto you today. By the name of that person, receive your deliverance today. Receive your deliverance from every form of captivity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is deliverance? Deliverance is disgracing your good lawyers. Deliverance is shaming your errors. And deliverance is silencing your pharaohs. What is deliverance? Deliverance is overcoming evil mountains. As many evil mountains that are before you, there is a power that can push you above those mountains. There is a power that can turn the mountains into valleys. There is a power that can assist you to run the race of life. There is a power that can assist you to pass the breaches of life. I introduce that power to you today, the Spirit of God, the power of God, the Spirit of God is presenting that power unto you today. And as you receive that power, your deliverances is assured in Jesus' mighty name. You are still looking at the topic of deliverance. It's written in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Oh God, I need a deliverance. That is the title of this message. That is somebody and is directed at somebody who has been crying silently for a deliverance from one particular affliction of life. And we are saying that there is a God that can deliver. We are saying that as we come to that God in power, in faith, as we come to that power with boldness, as we come to that God with courage, as we start to serve that God, as we start to obey the commandments of that God, as we start to obey the laws of that God, the power that saves, the power that is, the power that delivers shall be manifested in your situation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the powers of the enemy cannot hold you captive. The powers of the enemy cannot help you in bondage. The powers of the enemy cannot help you in captivity. There is a power that is above every other power. And that power is around today. That power is determined today. That power is ready today to set you free from every form of affliction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is deliverance? Deliverance is a divine rearrangement of the natural order to favor the children of God. What is the natural order of things? What has been the things that the doctors are prophesying to your life? Maybe they have told you that the sickness you are experiencing, that the affliction you are experiencing, that the disease that is afflicting you is a terminal disease that may take your life in the next few days or in the next few weeks or in the next few months. But I want you to know today that it's a God that can deliver you from that terminal diseases because he's the person that created the heavens and high is the person that created you. He has the power to divinely rearrange the natural order of things. There is a doctor Jesus that can visit you and I speak to your body, I speak to your soul, I speak to your spirit today as many sicknesses, no matter the nature of affliction that is affecting your life, that is affecting your body today, I speak healing to your body. I speak healing to your bones. I speak healing to your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of sicknesses that is arresting you, that has been afflicting you, I bind and I cast out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 says that Jesus Christ called his disciples unto him one by one and he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out, to heal every manner of sicknesses and every manner of diseases. I identify myself as one of these disciples that Jesus Christ gave power over unclean spirits and I exercise my power to Today, I speak woe, I cause every sicknesses that is affecting you. I command those sicknesses to wither from the roots in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cast out the demons that are sponsoring those sicknesses, those afflictions into your life, and I arrest them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak healing to your body, I speak healing to your soul, I speak healing to your spirit. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I miss your blood with the blood of Jesus Christ. And every string virus in your blood, I cut them out, I pull them, I cleanse them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you have decided to listen to this message, because you have decided to believe in a God of God, because you have decided to surrender your life totally and uncompromisingly to the Lord of all situations, receive your healing. Your healing shall manifest right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you shall live and not die. You shall not die but live and manifest the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what is the neurons? The neuron is a sudden and unexpected miracle. Maybe you have been expecting a miracle for years. Maybe you have been silently praying to God that God give me a miracle. If God can only give me this miracle. Deliverance is something that is sudden. Deliverance is something that is unexpected. Deliverance is something that can be described as a miracle. We serve a God who specializes in who specializes in doing something suddenly, who specializes in doing something unexpectedly, who specializes in doing something supernaturally. That same God shall deliver you today. That same God shall visit your situation today. The finger of God shall touch your situation today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what is the new one? The new one is overcoming limitations. The new one is achieving quickly and speedily what you are supposed to achieve the new ones is overcoming the spirit of snake speed the spirit of snake speed that the next miracle what you are supposed to achieve in a year you may spend 10 years stagnating over the same thing but the new ones is overcoming every form of limitations in life i present to you that same god that is ready to deliver you i present to you that same god that has the power to deliver you that same God, I present to you that same God that is ready to set you free from every form of limitations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, I want you to know there is a limiting power, but there is also a God that breaks all forms of limitation. Brethren, I want you to know there is a power that sets a boundary. There is a power that limits the achievement of people. There is a power that limits the progress of people. There is also a power that has a good plan for your life. There is also a supernatural power that cannot be limited but if you come to the presence of god that power shall visit you today that power shall bring every form of limitation in your life in your marriage in your business life in your career today in the mighty name of jesus christ what is the neurons the neurons is freedom from every forms of oppressions no matter the oppressions you have been facing maybe oppressions of the night maybe there is a power there are some powers that have been visiting you in life that have been oppressing you body name they have been oppressing you the spiritual name maybe there are some powers that have been molesting you sexually the is freedom from spirit husband. The neurons is freedom from spirit wife. The neurons is freedom from string powers that have been oppressing you, that have been holding you in various forms of bondages. Those spirit wife, those spirit husband that have been oppressing you, I command it to somersault and die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many marine powers, as many mimic powers that have been oppressing you at night, as many powers of darkness, as many powers of witchcraft that have been visiting you, molesting your life at night. It is written according to the word of God, in that day I shall destroy their witchcraft. In that day I shall destroy their witchcraft. They will no longer cast their specks. Every power of witchcraft that has been oppressing you in life, that has been oppressing you at night, I command them to receive destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today you shall lie down and sleep, and no power shall make you afraid. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release the powers of God into the four corners of your room. I release the power of God into the four corners of your offices. I release the power of God. I release the fire of God into every space in your environment. I release the fire of God into the air above you. I release the fire of God, the fire of God that consumes, the fire of God that devours onto the bed, into every space where you are living with. Every contrary spirit, I command them be consumed by fire, be roast by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what is the neurons? The neurons means being liberated from strong men or strong women. In the psalm, David recognizes that some powers that are stronger than him, but no matter the strength of that power that has been harassing your life, there is a lion of the tribe of Judah that is said today to devour every contrary lion that has been harassing your life. What is deliverance? Deliverance means setting the captives free. And that is the whole purpose of the ministry of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. No matter the nature of captivity that we have been experiencing, no matter the powers that have held you captive over the years, I have good news for you. According to Acts of the Apostle, chapter 10, verse 38, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that our prayers of the devil for god was with him 
that oppression you are facing in your finances, in your marriage, in your academics, in your business, in your ministry is not from God. The Bible clearly states that it's from the devil. There is one man that God sent to free you from every kind of oppression, from every type of oppression, from every type of captivity. And Jesus Christ is that person, is heavily anointed, is strongly anointed. He has all the anointing, he has all the powers in that statement he made before he ascended into heaven is that all powers in heaven and on heart has been given unto me. He has the power to save you. He has the power to set you free. He has the power to deliver you from every affliction of life. And as you come unto him today, as you surrender your life to him, as you decide to go and sin no more, as you decide to live a Christ-like life, as you decide to stop sinning, as you decide to obey the laws of God, as you decide to obey the commandments of God, as you decide to serve him with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your resources, he shall set you free from every form of oppression. He shall set you free from every form of captivity. He shall set you free from every form of bondages in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A family may need a deliverance, a nation may need a deliverance, an individual may need a deliverance, an office may need a deliverance. In the Bible, we read the story of Jacob's family who needed deliverance from an impending famine. Genesis chapter 45 verse 7 says, And God sent me before you to preserve you a prosperity in the heart and to save your lives by a great deliverance. I renew the power to preserve you from sudden death. That power to preserve, that power to save, that power to prosper you, receive that power today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the God of Israel that saved the Israelites by a great deliverance shall save you today by a great deliverance. He shall save your marriage, he shall save your life, he shall save your family, he shall save your husband, he shall save your wife, he shall save your children. A family may need deliverance, a church, even of God may need deliverance, an office may need deliverance, a ministry may need deliverance, a marriage may need deliverance, a business may need deliverance, a house may need deliverance. In Genesis chapter 45 verse 7, we saw that the family of Jacob needed deliverance. If God has not sent Joseph ahead of his brothers, if God has not sent Joseph ahead of his family to become a king in the land of Egypt, the family of Jacob will perish because of the impending famine that was coming. The family of Jacob will have perished out of hunger and of starvation. Genesis 45 verse 7 says, And God sent me before you to preserve you a prosperity in the heart, and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Like someone that is listening to this message that needs a great deliverance. Maybe you have been attending various deliverance services. Maybe you have been attending various churches. Maybe you have been attending various ministrations. And that problems you have been facing seems to be defying prayers. You have been fasting. You have been praying. You have been waking up at midnight. You have compiled various prayer points. You have prayed and prayed and prayed. And your situation seems to defy prayers and persuaded what you need is not just deliverance. What you need is great deliverance. There's a difference between deliverance and great deliverance. The family of Jacob needed not only deliverance, but they needed great deliverance. I am persuaded today and I pray for you today that that same God of Joseph shall save you by a great deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power that have had you in bondage, the power that have had you in captivity, the power that are resisting your prayers. Today as the power of God comes greatly, mightily against them, those powers shall fail. Their power shall fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That God of Joseph shall heal you. Be a great deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The same God of Joseph shall bless you. Be a great deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The deliverance power of God that visited the family of Jacob shall visit your family, shall visit your marriage, shall visit your womb, shall visit your brain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for somebody today that has the same power of God that visited Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fearing furnace, that same power of God that liberated Daniel from the lion's den, that power shall free you, shall liberate you from every evil bondage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The God of Joseph who delivered Joseph from the prisons of life, the God of Joseph that delivered Joseph from the slavery of life, the God of Joseph that turned a prisoner into a prime minister in a strength now, shall deliver you, shall promote you, and you shall manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
experience deliverance now, experience manifestation now, experience healing now, experience promotion now, experience your prosperity now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, a nation can need a deliverance. There are various nations in this world, there are various countries in this world that are stagnating, that are under development. We read the story of the nation of Israelites. Once upon a time, they needed a deliverance. For 430 years, the Israelite nation were oppressed by their oppressors, by their enemies. For 430 years, the Israelite nations were held into captivity. For 430 years, the Israelite nations were held down by taskmasters. One single day, the God of Israel that created them, visited them, and set them free from the captivity of the Egyptians. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 to 10 says, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. So I have come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians, and to bring them from that land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hittites, and the Evites, and the Jebusites, now therefore the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children, out of Egypt. There is one family, there is one business, there is one marriage that they now want to set free today. There is one person, there is one destiny, there is one glory that the Lord wants to set free today. I prophesy to your situation, even as God intervened in the life of the, the Israelites, I prophesy to your situation that the Lord that heard the cries of the Israelites shall hear your cry today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said in Exodus chapter 3 verses 7 to 10 that he has seen the oppression of his people in Egypt and persuaded that God has seen your oppression, he has seen your bondages, he has seen your sorrows, he has seen your cries, he has heard your tears, he has heard your prayers. And as he said concerning the Israelites, that he has come to deliver them, that same God of Israel has come to deliver you today from all your oppression of the Egyptians, that spirit of Egypt that has had you in captivity, that spirit of Egypt that has had you in, in stagnancy, that spirit of Egypt that is delaying your breakthrough, that, that spirit of Egypt that is saying no to your breakthrough, that same God of Israel that disgraced the pharaohs shall disgrace that same spirit of Egypt today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God said in Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 to 10, that He has decided to bring the Israelites out of Egypt into a land flowing with milk and honey. Today, the power of God shall push you into your peace, it shall push you into your joy, it shall push you into your happiness, it shall push you into your breakthrough, it shall push you into the land of Cana. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God said, I have heard the cry of the Egyptian of Israel. God says that now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me. Your cries has come unto God. Your prayers has come unto God. He has seen your oppression. He has seen your bondages. He has decided today to send a deliverer unto you to set you free from every oppression of life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You also read the story of even after the Israelite nations came into the land of Canaan, that was a Goliath that boasted against them, 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 17 states that then the Philistines said, This day I defy the armies of Israel, give me a man and let us fight each other. On hearing the Philistines word saw, and all the Israelites were dismayed and terrified. Maybe there has been a power who has been harassing your life. Maybe it has been a power in your office, there is a power in your business that has been harassing your life. A power that has been terrifying you. A power that has been instilling fear, it has been instilling sorrow into you, who has been defying your God, that same God is said today to arise and send a helper, as he sent David to deliver the Israelites from the harassment of the Goliath. Today I command every Goliath that is harassing your life, that is defying the armies of Israel. Any power that is troubling your Israel, this God of Israel, shall trouble your trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, a person may need deliverance from a non-standing problem, just as Anna went to Shino to receive power to become a mother of children. We can read that story in First Samuel chapter one. Any power that has held you captive, 
I speak to those powers to hear the word of God and to lose their hold. I command all powers that have had you in any form of captivity to lose their hold. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive the ignorance from failure, receive the ignorance from barrenness, receive the ignorance from poverty, receive the ignorance from stagnancy, receive the ignorance from marital crisis, receive the ignorance from marital delay. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are still looking at the at the issue of deliverance. There's somebody who is crying today, oh God, I need deliverance. There's somebody who needs deliverance from barrenness. There's somebody who needs deliverance from marital delay. There's somebody who wants marital breakthrough. There's somebody who needs deliverance from marital disappointments. There's somebody who's hearing this message that needs deliverance from from oppression by spirit husband or spirit wives. There's somebody who is listening to this message, who is hearing this message that needs deliverance from pornography, that needs deliverance from sexual perversion that needs deliverance from homosexuality that somebody who is hearing this message that needs deliverance from a vicious circle of failure that needs deliverance from the fear of premature death that somebody who is hearing this message that needs deliverance from academic failure your own case may be deliverance from tenancy maybe you have been a tenant for years for decades and you want to own a house of your own that somebody who is also hearing this message that needs deliverance from bad luck that that needs deliverance from eating fever, that needs reason from poverty or joblessness or smoking or drunkenness. No matter the affliction, no matter the problems of life that you need deliverance from, today the message, the Spirit of God is telling you is that there is one man that can save, there is one power that can deliver, there is one man, there is one power that there's only one man, there's only one power that can save, there's only one power that can deliver, and that there's only one power, there's only one man that can heal. And that name is the name that is above every other name. That name is the ultimate name. That name is the name that is above every other name. That name has all the powers, has all the ultimate power. And that name is Jesus Christ. And I speak and release the name of Jesus Christ into your situation today. I speak against all the powers that have been heading into captivity. I speak against all the powers that have been heading into bondages. I speak against all the powers that have been oppressing your life. I speak deliverance. I speak breakthrough. I speak prosperity. I speak any. I speak salvation. I speak the grace of God. I speak the mercy of God into your situation right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is written that of Mozon, that shall be deliverance and that shall be holiness and the children of Jacob shall possess their possessions as you have come unto the presence of God today, receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Once upon a time, there was somebody called Sarah in the Bible, Genesis 11, who was 30. She needed deliverance from barrenness. She wanted to become a mother of child. Genesis chapter 11, verse 36. But Sarah was barren and she had no child. Maybe you are experiencing any form of barrenness, spiritual barrenness, financial barrenness. Marital barrenness, no matter the form of barrenness we have been experiencing, the power of God shall set you free. The God that visited the womb of Sarah shall visit you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I arrest the spirit of barrenness, I arrest the spirit of stagnancy, and I command the spirit of prosperity to overwhelm you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the power to multiply, the power to replenish the heart, the power to reproduce, receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there's someone that is listening to this message. That needs deliverance for marital the name. Genesis chapter 2, verses 21 to the horse says, And the Lord God caused his deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept and took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in his place. Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. I pray for you today that your bones of bones, your flesh of flesh shall look at you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every inheritor causes of marital delay, I command those causes to break right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The husband that God has ordained for you, the wife that God has prepared for you, shall locate you right now. He shall locate you, she shall locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there's somebody who needs deliverance from marital disappointments. Maybe you have been facing various kinds of disappointments from women or from men. The power of God is visiting you today. The powers that are saying no to your marital breakthrough are signing those powers forever right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God shall divinely visit you. 
God shall grant your desires to be married happy in the, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The family idols that are crying against your marital breakthroughs, the oracles of your father's house that are crying against your marital breakthroughs, the gods of your father's house that are crying against your marital breakthroughs, the ancestral doors, the ancestral causes of your father's house that are crying against your marital breakthrough, I command them to be silent. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that cause of marital failure that has been following you, that cause of marital disappointment that has been following you, I command those causes to be broken by the blood of Jesus Christ, break by the blood of Jesus Christ, break by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that somebody who is listening to this message that needs deliverance from spirit husbands, that needs deliverance from spirit wives, maybe that is a spirit being, that is a demon spirit that has been coming at night, even during the day, to harass you sexually, to molest you, to threaten you, to harass your life, to boost against your life. Maybe there is a power that you cannot control that has been molesting you sexually. The Bible says that the Lord is your strength and the Lord is your shield, according to Psalm 28, verse 7. From this day, the Lord shall be your strength, the power to overcome every spirit husband. Receive that power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, the Lord shall be your shield. As that power approaches you, the power of God shall shield you. As that power approaches you, the power of God shall protect you. As that power approaches you to arrest you sexually, the angels of God shall fight against those powers. The powers of God, the power of God shall fight against those who are troubling your life. The power of God shall trouble your troubles. It shall harass those who are harassing you. It shall fight against those who are fighting against you. It shall contend against those who are contending against you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I cut off every evil attachment in your life. I cut off by the sword of God every power that is visiting you for evil at night. I cut off by the power of God every power that is molesting you sexually. And I command those powers to be roasted by fire to in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anointing to overcome every spirit wife, anointing to overcome every spirit husband. Receive that anointing, receive that power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That spirit husband in your life, that spirit wife in your life, I command them to be buried alive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that somebody is listening to this message that needs deliverance from sexual perversion, that needs deliverance from fornication, that needs deliverance from masturbation, that needs deliverance from adultery, that needs deliverance from pornography. No matter the form of sexual perversion that we're experiencing, the power of God is ready to set you free. As long as you are ready today to surrender your life to Christ, as you know, as you are ready today to start living in absolute holiness, that somebody who is saying that I want to stop this sex sin, I have been finding it difficult to stop. So, I need the power to overcome evil over you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive the power to control the spirit of loss. Receive the power to say no to sin. I command your flesh to die today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to your spirit man to receive strength. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, power to eat evil pleasures. Receive that power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I cut off every evil friends from your life. I cut off every strange friends from your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, First Corinthians chapter. 15. 15 verse 33 says that be not deceived evil communications corrupt good manners as many places you have been going as many evil things you have been watching as many contrary music you have been listening to that's been pushing you into sin i call them off in the mighty name of jesus christ i command them to fade the way according to the word of god in second Samuel chapter 22 verse 46 says that strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. That strange spirit that has possessed you, that has been pushing into homosexuality, that has been pushing into lesbianism, I command that spirit, husband, I command that demon spirit to be arrested. That spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah, I cast out, I rebuke, I bind, and I cast out of out of your mind, I cast it out out of your heart, I cast it out out of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the demons have been sponsoring strain lost in your life. I arrest, I command them to be arrested. Let them be arrested in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe you think that that is how God created you. I want to assure you today that that is not how God created you. But I speak to you today that the God that created you shall recreate you as a normal human being. If you shall have normal sexual desires in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every strange spirit that has possessed you, that spirit of homosexuality that has possessed you, I command that spirit to be roasted by fire. I command that spirit to be consumed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no matter the forms of deliverance you need, maybe it's deliverance from joblessness, maybe it's deliverance from poverty, maybe it's deliverance from bad luck, maybe it's deliverance from tenancy. You have been in a house for years. You have been trying to build your own house. You have been trying to be the owner of your own house, but it has been difficult for you to accumulate, to gather enough resources 
houses to build your house or to take a loan to build your to buy a house the word of god is coming today to deliver you from tenancy maybe you need deliverance from academic failure you have been failing and failing and failing in your attempt to acquire a certificate maybe you need deliverance from from sicknesses or from diseases maybe you need deliverance from the fear of premature death the key word I want you to hold on, the key word I want you to believe, the key word I want you to put your faith on, the key word I want you to put your trust on, the key word I want you to put your mind on, the key word I want you to put your heart on, the key word I want you to meditate on is found in First John chapter 3 verse 8. It is written that the Son of God appeared for this purpose, to destroy the wars of them. I'm persuaded and I want you to believe, I want you to know and I want you to realize. I want you to come to the understanding today that joblessness is the work of the devil, drunkenness is the work of the devil, poverty is the work of the devil, bad luck is the work of the devil, academic failure is the work of the devil, marital crisis is the work of the devil, sin is the work of the devil, sexual sin is the work of the devil. As many works of the devil that are manifesting in your life, there is one man that appeared for this purpose. His ministry was to destroy the works of the devil. And today I offer you that person, I offer you that son of God that appeared. There is only one person, there is only one power, there is only one name on the surface of the heart, under the heart and above the heart, through which power the works of darkness can be destroyed. And that name is Jesus Christ. As you come to the presence of God today, as you have been crying, as you have been desiring that you need deliverance, the first step you need to take is to surrender your life to that person, is to bow before that power. There are basic steps you need to take before your deliverance can be assured. Whether you need deliverance or you need great deliverance, there is one man that manifested to destroy the walls of darkness, to destroy the walls of the devil that have been holding you to captivity. And that name is Jesus Christ, but there are some basic steps you need to take before Jesus Christ, who is a specialist, who is an expert, whose, whose ministry is to destroy the walls of darkness. There are some basic steps you need to take before you can set to free. The first thing you need to take is that you must genuinely repent of your sin and believe in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to confess your sin, you need to decide, you need to determine, you need to say no to sin. And the power, as you say that, as you decide on that, as you make that confession, the power to sin no more shall rest upon you, shall fall upon you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The next thing you need to take is that you need to kill your flesh and its force and desires. You need to live a life of uncompromising holiness and righteousness. You need to live a life that hates sins. You need to live a life that obeys the commandments and laws of God. Another step you need to take is you need to put your complete trust and faith in God. You need to be bold and courageous, brethren and persuaded. I want you to believe that unless you trust God, unless you have faith in God, there is no way God can deliver you. Even after God delivered the Israelite nation from the bondages of Egypt, only two people trusted in him. Only two people have faith in him that he could take them to the promised land. So a whole generation, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people perished in the wilderness because they didn't have enough trust and faith in God. No matter the oppression you have been facing, no matter the strength of the powers that are posted against your life, no matter the powers that have been harassing your life, you need to have complete trust and faith in God. You just need to come to the presence of God and believe that is the all-powerful God, that absolute power belongs to Him, that is the ultimate power, that His power is, is above all powers, that His power that the enemies, that the powers of darkness that are harassing your life cannot overcome the powers of God that is now inside you so you need to have complete faith you don't need to live a life of fear you don't need to live in depression or in anxiety you need to have complete trust and faith in god and as you do that your deliverance shall manifest in the mighty name of jesus christ another thing you need to take is to study the word of god you need to have a copy of the bible and meditate upon it day and night and as you do that the word of god is spirit and life the word of god shall manifest in your situation you shall have a better understanding you shall have a better knowledge you shall have a better understanding and knowledge of the promises of god for you and you shall be able to stand upon the word of god and fight the battles of life in the mighty name of Jesus christ and the last step you need to take for your deliverance to be assured is that you need to be a prayer warrior you need to start praying during the day you need to start praying during the night you need to pray quality prayer you need to spend enough time you need to spend quality time you need to spend adequate time 
in the presence of God. God is ready to fight your battle for you. Like as is often said, heavens can only help those who decide to help themselves. All you need to do is to open your mouth. As we have read in the Bible concerning the Israelites, God said that I've heard the cries of my people in Israel. You need to cry to God. Unless you cry to God, God cannot send a deliverer to you. God is expecting you to start crying today. God is expecting you to start praying to you today. God is expecting you to stop lamenting about your situation. God is calling upon you to stop crying, to stop weeping upon your situation. Tears cannot help you. Sorrows cannot help you. All you need to do is to lift your eyes, eyes to the heavens. From where does your help come from? Your help, true help can only come from God. So you need to become a prayer warrior for you to deliver from that stubborn problem. Another thing you need to do is to know how to fight the battles of life. Most of the afflictions you are passing through occur at night. It is written that when men snipe the enemy came, you need to know that for your freedom, for your deliverance to be complete, you must know how to stand up at midnight and contend with the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are a Christian that likes to sleep and snore every day at night, then there is no way that you can win the battles of life. You need to know that as a Christian, you are a soldier in the presence of God, and you need to know that you have the battles to fight. You need to know that you need to stand up at night to fight the battles of life and to neutralize and paralyze the powers of darkness that are gathered at night against your glory and destiny. Another thing you need to know before your deliverance can be complete, you also have to be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. As of Apostle chapter 10, verse 38 says that our God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. So you have to be filled with the Holy Ghost before your deliverance can be complete. The power of God inside you has to be greater than the power of Satan that is attacking you. And the only way you can achieve this is for you to be filled with the anointing of God. The only way you can achieve this is for you to be filled with the power of God. The only way you can achieve this is for you to be filled with, with the power of the Holy Ghost. Your spirit man must be filled with the power and anointing of God. Maybe you are not even able to pray in the spirit. You have to crave for the gift of the spirit, this power to pray in the spirit, the power to pray in other tongues. You must have that power before you can overcome the powers of darkness that has surrounded you. Several years ago, the Spirit of God told me there is no personal problem I will not be able to resolve if I can only pray in the Spirit for long hours. I want to advise that as a Christian, before you can win the battles of life, as a Christian, before you can overcome the powers of darkness that are gathered against you, you must know how to pray, you must have the gift of the spirit you must be filled with the spirit of god you must be able to pray in the spirit for long hours so maybe by chance you don't have the gift of the Holy ghost i release the spirit of god over you right there you are receive the spirit of god receive the spirit of the Holy ghost in the mighty name of Jesus christ another thing you need to do for your deliverance to be complete is that you must completely obey the divine instruction of god the spirit of god shall be giving you various instructions some of them may look funny some of them may look abnormal some of them may look unusual that the Spirit of God is giving you those instructions, you must practice great, complete obedience. It is written in the Bible that if you obey, if you are willing and obedient, you shall hear the fruit of the Lamb. And I renew the power to obey, I renew the spirit of obedience over your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's power, that spirit of stubbornness, that spirit of disobedience, the spirit of stubbornness, I rebuke, I bind and cast out of your mind, out of your heart right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you study the Bible, as you read the laws of God, as you read the commandments of God, you must decide to obey every commandment of God. Your obedience must be complete before your deliverance can be complete. There is no shortcut to your deliverance. You must decide to follow God with all your heart, with all your strength, with, with all your power, with all your time, with all your resources. Before God can serve you, before God can come with all his power to deliver you with a great deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the last step you need to take for your deliverance to be complete is that you need to serve God. God has created you for his glory. God has created you for his honor. God has created you for his purpose. And the purpose is to serve him. How do you serve him? A practical way you can serve God is by deciding to be a minister of God, is by deciding to become an evangelist, is by deciding to be a soul winner. As long as you are winning so, immediately you decide to win souls for Christ, immediately you decide to become useful in the kingdom of God, immediately you decide to serve God with all your heart, with all your time, with all your strength, immediately you decide to be a member, an active member of the army of God, 
immediately you decide to win disciples to the kingdom of God, God will start to fight your battles. God will start to trouble your trouble. God will start to contend with the powers that are continuing against you. God will start to oppose those who are opposing you. So the last point I want to make is that a, a practical way your deliverance can be assured is that you must decide to become a servant of God. You must decide to become a servant of God. And the surest way you can become a servant of God is by doing the work of an evangelist. That is the last message that Jesus Christ gave us before he ascended unto heaven after his restoration. He said, go ye into the heart and make disciples of all nations. As you start to serve God, God shall start to serve you. There is no person who is serving God that can be under the oppression of the enemy. As you start to seek the things of God, God will start to minister prosperity, will start to minister peace, will start to minister happiness into your life, into your marriage, into your situation. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I release the spirit of holiness over you, the spirit to say no to sin, the spirit, the power to say no to sin, the spirit of holiness, the spirit of righteousness, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you have come unto Mount Zion, you have not come unto me, you have come to the presence of God, and I promote the word of God unto you, according to the word of God in Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17, on Mount Zion shall be deliverance, as you have come, as you have heard this message, receive your deliverance from Poverty. Receive your deliverance from stagnancy. Receive your deliverance from failure. Receive your deliverance from marital delay. Receive your deliverance from marital unhappiness. Receive your deliverance from marital disappointments. Receive your deliverance from academic failure. Receive your deliverance from sicknesses. Receive your deliverance from bad luck. Receive your deliverance from tenancy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release the word of God to you. It says, as many day you come unto Mount Zion, you shall receive deliverance. You shall receive the spirit of holiness. Therefore, I release the spirit of righteousness. I release the spirit of holiness over your husband, over your wife, over your children. I speak to as many people that are under the influence of my voice. The power to say no to sin, the power to live right, the power to serve God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, after deliverance, after holiness, come possessions or possessions. As many things that the enemy has stolen in your life, as many things that the enemy has taken from your life, as many things that as the, as the powers of of darkness has stolen in your life, as many blessings that the enemy has stolen in your life, receive the power to pursue, to overtake and recover in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many blessings, as many breakthroughs as God has prepared for your life, possess your possessions. Possess your possessions. Possess your enemy. Possess your dominion. Possess your prosperity. Possess your breakthrough maritime. Possess your breakthrough academic. Possess your breakthrough spiritual. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. It is why with you and mark you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I say, let no one trouble you because you pray on your body in the mass of Jesus Christ. Let the fire of God be a one around you. Let the angels of God, the angels of protection, the angels of mercy, the angels of grace, the angels of prosperity push you, guide you, direct you day and night from today right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That power that visited Joseph in the prison, that power that visited Daniel in the Nile's den, that power that visited Shadra, Meshad and Abednego, that power that visited Ena Ashino, that power that visited Sarah, that power that visited Rishi and delivered all these people from barrenness, from slavery, from oppression, that power that visited the Israelites in the house of bondage in Egypt and delivered them and brought them into the land of Cana, the, the land that is flowing with me and honey, that power shall visit you, receive divine visitation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This message is coming to you from Save the World. We are an internet based Christian ministry with a divine mandate to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can send us an email for prayers, for counseling, or you want to support us financially as the Spirit of God needs you. Our email address is info at christonline.info. The phone number is 234 My name is Baba Tokwe Baba Ruby. God bless you all. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.